In this video, I want to just give you a short overview of the different components of the course, the different resources that you'll have to learn the material in this course, and kind of where they're at on the website. This is probably a pretty good video to watch now, and then maybe watch it again in about a week. So here we go. Here's the course information page. This page talks about the basic content, the learning goals, tells you a little bit about the required software, the weekly schedule, the grading scheme, and some other materials that will be useful to you. That's kind of the basic overview uh, of the course page. I got that by clicking on course information. Announcements will give you the announcements that we make periodically about what's going on in the course. To do well in this course is a summary of techniques for doing well in the course. That's what it says. And I'll be talking about some of those in this video actually. Discussion forums is the discussion forums. That's how you can talk with the staff and other students. Here's where all the quizzes will be. Here's where the peer assessments will be. Now, what are peer assessments? Why do we have peer assessments? A really important thing about programming is that programming is actually a social activity. Think of a group of programmers working together as kind of like a group of writers or authors working together to populate a library. They don't just write for themselves, they write for other people. And that's true of programs too. Programs are written for other people to read. And so how easy they are to read is super important. The reason we do peer assessments, in other words, we have your code assessed by other people in the class, is for you to really learn to appreciate that sense of writing code for other people to read and reading the code that other people write. So that's why we use peer assessments in the course. Okay, now what's in these pages, the reference pages? Well, as I said in the introduction, in this course we're going to teach you some systematic design method or design recipes. The design recipes page is a link to all those recipes. Here they are presented here and we'll be working through all of them as we go. The language page is a quick one-page summary of the programming language that we'll be using. And the style rules page is something we'll come back to, but that's some additional rules about how to make your programs easy to read. So these are reference pages that you'll get quite familiar with as we go. And now here's all of the actual modules of the course. Some of these are about a week long, some of them are a little less than a week long, and they're organized here in the order that we're going to go through them. So if I go to the first module, the beginning student language module, you'll see that each of these pages gives you an overview of that module, talks about the learning goals for the module, and then it has all the video lectures. For each video lecture it has a title which will link you to actually watch the video. There's various kinds of downloads including things like lecture notes and transcripts and you can also download an mp4 so you can watch them offline. And then for most of our lectures in later parts of the course, it doesn't happen so much in the first week, but later on there'll be a thing called a starter file. And the idea there is that as you watch the video you should have the programming tool that we're using, which is called Dr. Racket, open to this file so that you can type along with us. Now that brings up a really, really important aspect of this course. This is learn by doing material. It's kind of like playing tennis. You can't get to be good at playing tennis by watching somebody else do it. And you can't get to be good at this by watching me do it. You've got to do it. So we really want to encourage a very active learning style in which while you watch the video, you work along in Dr. Racket yourself or maybe you watch the video and then you go redo it in Dr. Racket yourself. Exactly your active learning style is up to you, but just watching isn't enough. And then you'll see that once you work through the videos, we have both practice problems and homework problems. Practice problems are problems for which we provide a solution, but again, it's learn by doing material. So we want you to solve the problem before you look at the solution and they're rated as to how difficult they are and about how long they should take you. And then homework problems we're not providing a solution for. We want to be sure you do them without looking at the solution. 
And then there's a weekly quiz, which assesses the degree to which you really master the material that you needed to master to do the homework problems. The quiz was, will be multiple choice because that's what Coursera lets us do. The homework problems will involve following our design recipe, so it isn't enough for us to grade them just on correctness. We really want to grade your, your programming according to whether you're following the style, and that's something that the peer assessments will do. The weekly quizzes will be multiple choice. They'll measure other aspects of how well you've mastered the material. And then each week we also give you some very specific tips for success for that week. You know, this learn by doing point is so important that I want to say one more thing about it. And the way I want to say it is to actually show you something which a previous student wrote. Any number of students have said something like this. This student is just a good writer. And so it's really written well in this case. He says, it's funny how repetition in actually doing the work leads to it all of a sudden making sense to me. He says, it's not coming through watching or reading, though. It comes from replicating what I've watched several times. It's like I said, it's kind of like tennis. You've got to put your arm through the stroke of swinging the racket over and over and over again to get the muscle memory for the skill. This is kind of like that. After you see me design a function, you've got to design the function. You've got to go through it in order to learn how to do it. So that's really, really important. It's a learn by doing material.